Disclaimer, most other VPN review channels on YouTube besides mine are actually owned by huge VPNs. Look in their descriptions, they'll actually tell you if you care to read there. Please consider supporting independent reviewers like myself that is, are entirely self-funded by liking, subscribing, commenting. Let me know what you think of my reviews. And if you really want to help support the channel, use my affiliate links in my descriptions for all my honest reviews. It really helps support the channel and it's really the only way this channel keeps going forward. All right, guys. Thanks ahead of time. Hey, guys. What's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at ProtonVPN for my new review, my first VPN review of the 2026 year. Uh, we haven't really updated the tier list too much. We did update it, uh, I think, last year at some point and kind of transformed the system. But the tier list has been kind of just keeping steady. Uh, but VPNs themselves have been improving. So I've been kind of reworking it a little bit here and then, or here and there. Some VPNs, you know, have been doing really well. Some haven't been updated for almost two years. And we'll go ahead and kind of try to run some of those VPN reviews this year. Um, so guys, today we're going to be doing Proton VPN. And as you guys know, I always do everything data driven here on the channel. Um, we just rate VPNs by what the data says, not how much they pay us, not really necessarily even what I think of the VPNs. And we'll just rate them as they deserve. If you guys like the sound of that objectivity, use my link down in the description down below. Almost every VPN has an affiliate program. Those that don't, I'll still be objective. And we have other ways to kind of monetize the channel. Um, but specifically for Proton, if you use my link, you'll get any best deal going on and you'll help support the channel and objective reviews just like this. So it's a win-win. So click on my link in the description down below and activate the deal and get the best deal and help support honest VPN reviews. If you guys didn't know, I'm one of the few channels on YouTube that actually is independently owned. I'm 100% self-funded and I'm not owned by any VPN company. Almost all the other VPN channels are indirectly or directly owned by VPN companies themselves. So if you don't like the sound of that, if you like honest VPN reviews, stay tuned here for Tom Spark Reviews. And as always guys, you know, all my reviews are posted on vpntierless.com, at least the ratings. We categorize VPNs by tiers, and we also have community ratings as well. So if you guys want to help influence the community, go ahead and drop a review on vpntierless.com, make a free account, submit a VPN review, and it'll be put directly into the tierless system. As far as I know, I'm also the only community-driven VPN review site as well. All right, guys, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and check out Proton VPN. So one of the things I like about Proton is that over the years, they've just gotten more and more affordable. I don't really know exactly at what point they decided to kind of move to this more affordable model, but nowadays they're actually more cheaper than most other VPNs by around 20 to 30% for one month. And when it comes to some of the other deals, much cheaper as well. They do have a increase in price, which is something they probably worked into that model. So we're not going to give them points for not having stable pricing. Some VPNs don't increase, but are admittedly a little more expensive up front. Something like Molvad, for example, is $60 the first year, $60 the second year, $60 for the third year. So that's something to take a look at. With Proton, it's $51 for the first 12 months, and then $83 every 12 months. For 24 months, it's $60 for 24 months, which is a really, really good deal. Then $83 for every 12 months. That said, I do commend Proton for being honest with how they're describing the pricing. It's very easy to see exactly. Some VPNs hide that with a little asterisk which I'm not a huge fan of, so that's something I do like Proton is doing. So overall, I think Proton is a very good deal for a VPN provider. It does get more expensive when you look into their ecosystem, if you want Proton Mail, Proton Drive, and some of these things. But this video is not really reviewing those, it's focusing on the VPNs, it's primarily a VPN review channel. Uh, if you guys wanna check out those other products, they're all pretty good as well. Um, pretty good in their own right. I don't know if you necessarily need to spend more money on some of those things like encrypted email. Tutanoto is perfectly fine. Bitwarden is good. And there's also other good cloud storage managers out there as well. Some people also argue that maybe you don't want all your eggs in one basket. That's certainly valid theory. But let's go ahead and move into the next part of the review, which is where we take a look at the application. So guys, this is what Proton VPN's application looks like. And in the last year or two, I think they made a huge redesign, which they already redesigned it previously as well. And I do think nowadays it's actually one of the best looking, performing, and optimized applications as uh, you know a modern VPN could be. It's got a nice visual design, got a cool gradient. 
It um, has a lot of information down here to see what's going on, which I really like. Split tunneling, all these other features are very nice to quickly access. Port forwarding is supported, which is also a doubly nice thing. Easy to select countries. Um, the settings are extremely easy to navigate. Protocol selection right here is really, really nice. Stealth protocols is an option. We also have NetShield, which is kind of like an ad blocker. Kill switches are easily accessible. Advanced settings can be accessed um, very quickly as well. Just the, the quick use of the application is extremely, extremely nice. So that's something I really like with Proton. I think they've made a lot of strides there. They used to kind of have this kind of interface here, but something about the application just is much better now. Um, they've kind of optimized the idea of clicking on these tabs and integrating the settings more quickly, and as well as the visual diagram, the gradient, kind of how it has like an invisible kind of border feel is also extremely nice as well. If you look at the tabs itself in terms of application, we're really not missing much. Really, we could have Soxify proxy support, which is arguable, although hardly any VPN supports that nowadays. The ones that do actually don't really work that well. I can't get it working on Nord. Um, dedicated IPs are still not here, so that could be a stickler point for you if you like dedicated IPs, but you know, a lot of people just don't really care about those. There's also no like remote features, like remote mesh net features. Nord almost canceled that, so there's not a huge market for it, clearly, but they brought it back. Um, we also don't see RAM servers with Proton, but they kind of have their own kind of encrypted storage solution, I think, for their servers, which they say is more private. It's kind of an arguable solution, but RAM could be something to look into for them, although it doesn't seem like they want to. But I kind of trust this, them that they know what they're doing with that one. Maybe it's not necessarily better or not. But that said, their application is pretty close to perfect, in my opinion. It's one of the best incarnations I've seen from Proton. They've improved it a lot, and that's good to see. A lot of applications like TorGuard, for example, have been sitting in development hell for nearly two years with no updates at all, no GUI changes. We've probably seen more changes from Proton VPN in the last year uh, or two than we have in the last maybe 10 years with something like TorGuard. So, you know, not every VPN is updating this much, and I think. Proton VPN definitely is putting the work in and it definitely shows. Next up, we can talk about speed test and I'll go ahead and put some screenshots on the screen here. The thing about Proton, it does have this VPN accelerator on and my tests were very impressive. Getting even better speeds than NordVPN recently by just a little bit of a margin, not huge. I was able to get 1.1 gigabit per second on my very fast internet. Of course, without VPN on, I was getting like 1.8 gigabit per second. And of course, VPNs just can't really contend with five gigabit per second internet. Uh, that's just kind of like the reality of it, but still extremely fast. And if you're someone who has one gigabit per second internet, you're gonna be pretty much maxing out pretty close, maybe only maximum five to 10% degradation of speed, which is not noticeable for such a big gain in privacy. So overall Proton VPN in terms of VPN application and speed, very, very solid. Now, if we look at the privacy audit, Proton is one of the strongest ones out there. They have open source analytics, 2FA support. They pass the blacklight test, which means their website's not collecting any information. They don't pass the Exodus test because there is like one little tracker on there or kind of test tracker, um, but not really anything serious, just for optimization probably. Um, there's no logs collected. They've never sold or leaked customer info. They have no acquisitions They're originally owned. The leadership is pretty transparent and they have done a log, no log audit in 2025. They also have a bug bounty program. So they don't really have too much to improve. Just that little quirky, whatever it is on Exodus, um, just some optimization crash tracker thing, not really collecting any information per se, but a little bit better performance in the privacy section than Nord and Surfshark, primarily because it's open source and there's less integration with Google Analytics and those kind of things, which some people don't like, uh, especially when it comes to a privacy product. Um, we also have customer support. Customer support from all VPNs is pretty good nowadays. The uh, customer support from Proton is offered through live chat and they usually respond within 24 hours. So no real complaints on my behalf. Next up, we can talk about stream compatibility, and that's a really good area from Proton as well. They work with Netflix, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, HBO Max, Prime Video, and they work with all different regions. They work very well. Switching regions isn't an issue, and you can unlock new geo restricted libraries by switching regions and watch more movies. Overall, Proton's GUI, I already kind of covered that. It's one of the best looking ones, in my opinion. One of the most usable ones as well. Overall, Proton scores 
83 out of 91. It's not perfect. No VPN is. But right now in 2026, it's my top performer here on the channel. All you Proton VPN fanboys, you're going to be happy now. Click my link in the description down below if you like this honest, objective review of Proton. Really, the only thing they could improve is that one little thing on Exodus, but I don't think that's actually an issue. It's just something that it flagged that's just kind of like a crash tracker. They could optimize and provide option for RAM-only servers, but I don't know if that's even necessary. They could provide some remote VPN option, but again, seeing how NordVPN almost canceled that feature, I don't know if it's even a huge market for it. They could add dedicated IPs or SOX5 proxy, but the Proton team has said that these things aren't really optimal for privacy and they're not necessarily wrong. They're just kind of convenience options that some other VPNs do offer. Proton could lower the price a little bit. Maybe they don't increase the price, but that would actually probably have to increase the price to their core model if they didn't increase it later on. You pay less now and pay more later on. So that's not really much to improve there either. They could offer a three-year plan with a little bit more savings, but if you paid for a two-year plan, that's still pretty good as is. There's no six-month plan, but that's not a huge issue since most VPNs don't offer that anymore. One month is around under $10, where other VPNs are around 12 to 13. So overall, guys, Proton VPN is a very, very strong VPN. Right now, it's going to jump to pretty much S tier rankings, as you could see here on VPNTierlist.com. This list is always updated live. It's directly connected to my tier, she tier sheet rankings, as you can see here. So I was editing it today. It's already live here without ha me having to do anything. Going to show you the objectivity and pure data-driven approach we have here. Let me know if you appreciate that in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon.